Is it Sirika? No, sir. Is it Sirika? How do you call your friend? How your friends call you? Can you hear me? No, he's uh, mic is off. Mic is off. No, yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How should I call you? Venkat Srikant. Are yes, sir. Venkat Srikant is my first name, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, Srikant. Yes, sir. This is the second time you have written the IFS exam. Yes, sir. There is one exam you have written is Central Armed Forces. Yes, sir. For which result has not come. <clears throat> yes, sir. Result not yet announced. No, sir. I recently gave interview uh, in April. The result yes. is yet to be announced. You have studied in Chennai only? Chennai? No, sir. Uh, Shivnadar University, Uttar Pradesh. No, Shivnadar University. It is here only, no? Uh, that is another campus, sir. There is also other campus in uh, Uttar Pradesh. Okay, okay. You have taken geology and forestry. Yes, sir. How did you do in forestry? Sir, uh, my both the papers uh, went quite well, sir. Both the papers are all right. Yes, sir. Very good. I like your confidence. It is yes, good. Sir. You are from Guntur district. Guntur district of Andhra Pradesh. Yes, sir. Guntur. Yes, sir. Guntur. Tell me something about the geological features of Guntur district. Uh, sir, uh, Guntur mainly composed of... Uh, uh, sedimentary and igneous rocks and we also have eastern guards uh, which is the part of eastern guards mobile built uh, and we have weathered soils uh, uh, and like quartzite soils uh, yes sir these are the things i can remember right is there any, any excavation for granite mining also in that area guntur yes sir we have uh, agni kundala mines here in uh, palnadu district uh, where uh, it is mining has been done for uh, minerals like uh, copper, uh, lead also. Uh, yes, sir. Recently, Andhra Pradesh had some issues with Telangana, Telangana yes, sir. Uh, forest areas. Sir. Are you aware of it? Uh, I'm not aware uh, uh, particularly about the issues. Sir, is it regarding the forestry uh, land boundary yes. issues? Yes, yes. No, sir, I'm not aware. Uh, some disputes of boundary in the okay. areas. Do you have the problem of Naxals in uh, Andhra Pradesh also? Yes, sir. Uh, we have LWV in uh, Vijayanagaram and uh, Srikakulam districts right now uh, because these are forested areas and uh, they provide for uh, the. You have visited some forest areas there in your state? Sir. I have went to Sri Venkateshwara National Park in uh, Tirupati, Chittur district. You have observed something? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, what you have? Sir, uh, the national parks mainly consists of uh, dry deciduous and the uh, moist deciduous forests. And uh, the flora I've observed are uh, uh, Shoria species, uh, uh, Terminalia species. Uh, we have neem and mango trees also. Uh, we also have Sizigium uh, species. Soria you yes, find in your areas. What is it, sir? Soria, Soria, Soria robusta, you said. Not sir, Soria, uh, some other uh, species. A genus is Soria. Not robusta. Soria, not, not robusta. No, okay. Sir. Soria species is there. Soria species. The entire Andhra Pradesh agricultural areas are quite potential for social forestry. Yes, sir. Have you observed any activity in those areas? Social forestry activities. Sir, uh, right around where I live, I do not observe any agroforestry or social forestry as such. Uh, it is only agriculture and uh, crops are uh, only paddy or uh, Bengal gram, etc. I didn't find any agroforestry. Mango cultivation is the major cultivation there, is it not? Yes, sir. Mango is in plenty. Yes, sir. But it's also a part of social forestry. Yes, sir. 
uh, mango farms are there. Yes. Uh, yes. Link it in, sir. Uh, from your hobby, I saw nature lover. Yes, sir. What does it mean? Why do you love nature? Sir, uh, I'd like to observe uh, plants and animals. It gives me uh, peacefulness and uh, connect with the nature. Like, uh, I enjoy being uh, uh, being in the nature. Also do some countryside walks, sir, uh, to feel this connect and be peaceful and uh, calm. So it I enjoy looks, taking this walk. It looks, looks like a, like a uh, poetic hobby. Nature lover, one who loves, the, loves nature. There yes, are many sir. kinds of loving of nature. Yes, sir. If you read Wordsworth's poems, you will yes, find sir. there are different stages of love of nature he has described. Yes, in sir. Filter Navi. So I thought maybe you are uh, inclined towards writing poetry. No, sir. Not in the cover, but uh, doing countryside walks and observing the countryside animals and plants. That is my yeah. love okay. of nature. Mm. And countryside walk also. Yes, sir. You walk in the countryside. Yes, sir. For what? Sir, uh, I, I basically... I basically enjoy uh, doing this walk, sir. Uh, it gives me peace and uh, uh, refresh my mind. Uh, I yes, basically... You are staying in the countryside or you go to the countryside to what? No, sir. I'm staying, I'm staying in the town and I will go to the countryside the outskirts and uh, uh, generally agricultural fields and canal sites. And I'll take a walk for half an hour or so and I'll relax and I'll come back. That is the actual process. Humanity's number is, is increasing by leaps and bounds. Pardon, sir? Our number, human beings number is increasing yes, by, by leaps and bounds. Yes, sir. Some months back, two, three months back, it crossed 8 billion. Yes, sir. So, humanity has already become a yes. city animal. More than half are remaining in city. Yes, sir. Okay, they have become an urban phenomenon. Yes, sir. So, how, how long do you think we shall have our countryside? Sir, how long do you... Pardon, sir? How long we will have our countryside? Sir. Because more people are coming from the countryside to the city centers. Sir. Uh, sir, I think uh, agriculture as a profession uh, will stay because uh, human beings need the food and uh, food supply. Uh, many people might uh, go to urbanization like we see in America, 80% is in service sector and only 2% is in agriculture. But there are uh, uh, predominantly uh, uh, suburban areas and rural areas in America also. So I think the countryside will stay uh, even if India become urbanized substantially. Uh, India's population will exceed China in another one or one month. By the middle of this year, sir. how it is beneficial to India? Sir, in what uh, respect? Sir, mainly uh, this provides the demographic dividend, sir. Uh, like what China have experienced in 1980s and uh, 2000s. Uh, we are experiencing the demographic uh, peak right now. So this will help in uh, uh, propelling the India uh, for uh, much larger development. See, democratic dividend doesn't come automatically. Yes, sir. You have to provide so many things for that. You have to provide yes, for sir. health, provide for education, yes. provide for housing, etc. So that you can get the, you can reap the democratic uh, demographic dividend. Yes, sir. So, so do you think the government is doing the necessary things? Yes, sir. Uh, government is education, uh, health, skill development, providing them with the basic requirements of life. Without that, without that, the population becomes a problem. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, I think the government is uh, providing uh, many schemes in terms of health, education, and uh, skilling uh, through Aishman Bharat Bihar in education uh, in health and uh, Samagra Siksha in education, and also many uh, Kaushal Vikas Yojana schemes in uh, through government side, sir. Sir, but also, sir, I think we have to increase the private participation uh, and also increase the uh, human capital uh, through private participation, uh, sir. Or else, it will become demographic burden, as you have pointed out. We need to take our steps in these uh, this things. But in our country, health has become such a big problem. Sir. And it has been exposed during the COVID times. Sir. Sir uh, so educational health must be ensured so that you can get the demographic dividend. Sir. And skilling, of course. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, I think that uh, health sector is uh, lagging in India because uh, there is low penetration of the primary healthcare, healthcare sector and uh, less number of doctors in the rural areas. 
where our large population resides in our rural areas. So we need to provide uh, more health facilities in rural areas. Uh, there should be more uh, uh, that work uh, needs to be done, sir, in these areas particularly. Okay, okay. What is carbon border adjustment mechanism? Carbon border sir, adjustment mechanism. Why it is recently in news? Sir, it was a, a law made by the EU, sir, uh, EU countries, where they want to tax the uh, goods which have high carbon footprint from other countries. So that uh, 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 they, they adhere to the climate uh, pledges of reducing the carbon footprint and carbon emissions. It has been in news for the last one year. Even today, if you see Hindu, the editorial is on carbon border adjustment mechanism. Yes, sir. Okay. When does it start? Uh, sir, I'm not sure about exact date. It will start from this October. Okay. But taxing would be from 1st of January 2026. Okay, sir. So what is India's objection to that? Sir, uh, many of our goods uh, we have been producing from the MSMEs, which are uh, uh, net carbon emitters. And also, we do not have the technology, the green technology, uh, like uh, the Europe MSMEs and manufacturing has. So, I think uh, it will be a problem for us, uh, for our goods, because more tax will be levied on us and our goods will be become less competitive. Sir, in that sector, uh, we will face the issues. What has India requested today to you? Today or some days back to the European Union? India has requested something. Uh, sir, I am not sure about the particular request uh, India made. India has requested that our MSMEs should be exempt from your carbon border adjustment mechanism of tax. Okay, sir. Because, because uh, and our uh, carbon credit system should also be taken into account by the by the European Union. Yes, sir. The carbon credit system that we are having, that should yes, also sir. be taken into account. And especially yes, our medium, small scale and uh, uh, minor industry, uh, uh, minor, yes, medium uh, and small scale industries, they should be exempt from this kind of because they don't have the necessary um, uh, means. Yes. Okay. So, so this goes against the WTO's uh, provisions. Yes, sir. This is imposing a new kind of tax to protect their 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 trading. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, from Gundur. Sir, I am from Bawatla, sir. Huh? Proper. Uh, is, uh, from yes, sir. <laughs> now it was under Babutla district, sir, after the newly formed districts. Oh, this is a new district. Okay, tell us about Guntur. Sir, uh, Guntur uh, have a rich history from uh, 3rd century BCE to uh, right now, from Shatavahanas uh, to the Kutub Shahis and to the British. And we also have uh, Undavali caves, which are Buddhist heritage caves, and the Amravati stupa. And uh, it is also famous for uh, chilies and tobacco, sir. Uh, is the only district uh, cultivating tobacco anyone now? Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Can you repeat the question? Uh, is it cultivating the Gundo district? Is it the only district now, even now, cultivating tobacco? Yes, sir. Uh, Gundur district has, uh, yeah, even now it is uh, creating, uh, cultivating much tobacco and output is uh, uh, large and export is also there, sir, from Gundur district. Uh, you have mentioned meditation as one of your hobbies. Yes, sir. What meditation you do? Sir, uh, I am doing a Shambhai meditation right now of uh, Sadhguru uh, program, sir. How long you do it in a day? Sir, I, I, I do in the morning. Do you practice daily? Yes, sir. Daily I will practice in the morning for 30 minutes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, other thing is uh, exercising, weightlifting, jogging. Yes, you know, too much of uh, physical exercise? Uh, not too much, sir, but uh, uh, these are different types of exercise, but I'll do 30 minutes in a day for exercise or 30 to 45 minutes. That's all? Yes, sir. I, for variation, I do these different types of things. Um. Then, if you get to Andhra Pradesh and the southern part of Andhra Pradesh and the other part of Tamil Nadu, the yes, red sanders is a special species yes, sir. cultivated in this area. Any yes, special sir. reasons for this? 
sir uh, uh, red sanders uh, only occurs uh, endem is endemic to the andhra pradesh sir in uh, chittur region uh, in seshachalam hills so uh, the demand is high and the supply is less so there is a uh, why it is uh, coveted all around the world the red sanders is only grown here what is the suitable soil for this crop sir uh, it is weathered shale and uh, quartzite soil that is suitable for the uh, red sanders Uh, does it require any uh, iron content in the soil? Uh, sir, I'm not really sure about uh, iron content. Okay. Recently, the Arab League has admitted the Syria into its membership, which was suspended for more than 10 years. Recently, last week, they have admitted the Syria. Are you aware of this? The sir, government? Uh, what said? I couldn't. Uh, pardon. Yeah, Syria, Syria. Yes, sir. The country names named Syria yes, is sir. admitted, readmitted. Yes, sir. Into the the Arab League. Yes, sir. Are you aware of this Arab League? Yes, sir. I'm aware. Aware. Which are the members of this league? Yes, sir. Which are which are the countries who are members of this league? Sir, excluding India, the Muslim uh, uh, of the North Africa and the Muslim countries of the Middle East are members of this league, and Indonesia and uh, Malaysia also. Muslim countries are the Arab countries. This Arab countries. Arab League. Arab League. So oh, why sir. was Syria earlier suspended? Yes, sir. 2011, they suspended Syria. Yes, sir. Now it is they are admitted to Syria. Anyway, what are the reasons? Sir, uh, because of the civil uh, unrest there and the uh, uh, and the war that is being going on in Syria, uh, I think they have uh, suspended from Arab League. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure, uh, sure about uh, this issue, sir. Okay, that's uh, one, one, one more thing. We, we noticed the large number of Telugu inserts uh, uh, migrated to US. Yes, sir. I think I'm on all the states. Yes, sir. The other Pradesh starts the uh, list. Yes, sir. Any special reasons for uh, having such a high number in the US? Sir. Uh, sir, I think it is basically a trend here. Like uh, after uh, graduation, uh, they are uh, seeking other opportunities in uh, America uh, because they can uh, afford the initial capital and go to America and have good education and good job there. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Sriram, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sir. Uh, Mr. Venkat Srikant. Yes, sir. Uh, this Andhra Pradesh has a very long uh, coastal area. Yes, sir. Now, uh, what is the reason we are not able to tap uh, the ocean energy? Uh, sir, uh... The ocean energy consists of uh, tidal energy and uh, uh, OTEC energy uh, and also wave energy, sir. Uh, but uh, these uh, technologies are not particularly uh, established in India as such. So I think we need to uh, first improve the uh, ecosystem of these energies. How do you so do that? Sir, uh, through government policy and uh, private participation, we can increase just like solar, like how we have... Uh, uh, scaled up solar uh, in short term, uh, uh, many gigawatts. Uh, we can also do for the uh, ocean energy, sir. If you have the forward and backward link, which is so why it is not been done, sir? I think uh, it was a lack of public policy, uh, as such, uh, for the wind and solar, uh, as it is uh, uh, supporting, there is no uh, support for this uh, ocean energy. No, the question is why there is not, because it is available. Is it the technology is not uh, refined enough or what is it? Uh, yes, sir. I think it is a mix of technology is uh, not uh, enough and also public policy is not also in that direction. Tell us about uh, thermal energy converters in Ocean. How, how do you get it? Sir, it works on the principle of uh, energy difference from the surface to the bottom. In the bottom layers are... Uh, a cooler by 20 degrees centigrade and uh, we can use this uh, difference uh, for uh, generating the energy ocean thermal energy 
So if you do the comparison of the three sources of energy from ocean, yes, sir. Uh, what is energy intensity in the sense how much energy can you produce per hour and so on? Is the oh. investment worth it? That is the question, no? Intensity that uh, each of these uh, three energies produce. Could you repeat? Uh, you are disconnected. Sir, I'm not ex exactly sure about this uh, energy intensity of these uh, energies and also cost uh, benefit ratios. Now, uh, there was recently a high sea treaty which was signed after a long negotiation. Could yes, you tell sir. us about high sea treaty? Sir, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I only have an overview. What is the reason for uh, coral bleaching? Sir, uh, there are many reasons, primarily due to climate change, high temperatures, and uh, more nutrients and pollutions uh, that has been uh, released into the oceans. Uh, these are the changes that uh, leads to the coral bleaching, sir. We also recently seen um, massive coral bleaching in a uh, Great Barrier Reef in Australia. That was uh, because of the what? This uh, Great Barrier Reef, there was a bleaching event which happened. Yes, sir. Almost 10, 10 years back. What, what was the reason? Sir, I think it was because of high temperatures uh, that coral bleaching happened. Ocean warming which happened. So what happened? Sir, when ocean warming happens, the uh, corals uh, exp uh, expel the zooxanthellae algae which are present in them. So they uh, cannot produce their food because this algae produces uh, the corals food. And how is uh, ocean acidification? How much is that a threat? Sir, uh, due to increased carbon uh, uh, dioxide levels, uh, ocean is acting as a sink and this uh, carbon uh, is increasing the acidification of the ocean. Uh, sir, regarding how much of it is a threat, it is a, uh, according to the IPCC, sir, uh, carbon uh, acidification is a, uh, primary threat, a primary threat in the climate change. Correct. Like it will uh, affect the various ecosystems in the oceans. So we need to counter it. So how much is the pH value of ocean right now? Sir, uh, it should be around 7.5 to 8 uh, in the tilting towards the basic side. From where did we get this data? Sir, uh, this uh, pH version, sir? No, this data which you mentioned that it should be between 6.7.28. Sir, uh, I've read somewhere, I couldn't recall uh, what uh, source it was exactly. That's not correct. Okay, sir. My last question is, if you have an electric burn, sir. And secondly, if you have a chemical burn and you have a thermal burn, burn yes. which is more grievous? Sir, I'm not sure about uh, this issue, sir. Take a guess. You are an electrical engineer. Which is which will be more localized? Which will be more spread out? Sir, I think the chemical one will be more spread out because it involves uh, chemicals and reactions. And the electrical will be more uh, uh, controlled. Could you explain that? Uh, when you get an electric shock, sir. it passes through your body, isn't it? Yes, sir. So how is it localized? It damages cell throughout the body. Yes, sir. Uh, I stand corrected, sir. Uh, that is right, actually. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Srikant, uh, so I'll give the feedback. Okay, sir. Try to attend the interview offline also. Oh, uh, sir. Be more conversant. Your answer is like very short and crisp, which is good, but then it is not leading to. And you're also like, like the last question. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you have to spend some time to think and uh, answer. Yes, and, uh, one thing good about you is that you're quite actively involved in the sense that quite enthusiastic and yes, uh, alertness is there when you are. But then also spend, uh, try to be more conversant in the sense because you're, it's becoming more of a question answer. Yes, sir. And also please don't give random data just because you feel like uh, seven to eight percent. I mean that these are crucial issues. Even 0 0.0 percent here and there uh, yes, changes a lot. So if I tell you that uh, the ocean uh, pH well was 8.21 and now it is, uh, uh, you know, 8.17. Yes. So which means that uh, this uh, small shift in pH value has sh changed the acidity by 30%. Yes, sir. 8.27 to 8.1. So uh, please uh, don't give random data. So that okay. is not credible. I mean, you lose your credibility when you give answers like that. But otherwise, you're doing fine.
and I hope you do well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Be a little more spirited, okay? okay because uh, if I found a little lack of spirit and energy, so try to be more energetic, okay? okay and uh, when we discussed about uh, carbon border adjustment mechanism, yes, sir. Uh, uh, so several articles have come on that. Even today, there is an article on that. Uh, so whatever external things you read, yes, sir. Like this is this belongs to European Union, but always keep India in the center. What will be India's reaction? Yes, because sir. you will be Indian government service. You will be become Indian Forest Service, Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, Indian Forest Service, etc. Yes, so sir. always, what will be the impact on India, and what will be India's response to that, and why that response? Yes, okay. So always, always look at every perspective from Indian point of view. Okay, you, can, you can make a critical view of India's policy also, but, but at least see from Indian point of view. Anything that happens, whatever, whatever is happening in Sudan, so what is India's, how is India affected? Yes. Whatever is happening in uh, the Ukraine war, how is India affected? Everything. Whatever comes, you must, you must analyze and uh, see it from the angle of India's interest. Okay, you, you, then you, you may agree with what steps India is taking, make it say it, but, but at least to be clear about India's, uh, how, how India is going to be affected by that. Okay. Okay, so India has made this request because it is going against WTO's uh, provisions. So okay. India has made this request, so let us see what is happening. Okay, so because uh, it will start from October and uh, the, the real taxing will uh, come from 1st of January 2026. Yes. Okay, so that whatever... Uh, the, 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 the carbon intensive products like steel, cement, fertilizer, chemicals, etc., they will have to pay extra tax on that. Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. So, so see, see from that angle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sivan. Yes, sir. You've done well. Okay, sir. I thought you just see the international events like Syria, Florida. Yes, sir. And uh, actually, you can give more reasons, more analytical reasons for the low, more followers in the US. Sir. More the low population in the USA. Yes, sir. So otherwise, uh, good to uh, wish you all the best. Thanks. Yes, Venkat Sikhan. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, by and large, it's quite satisfactory. Your okay. performance is quite satisfactory. Uh, just two observations I would like to make on that. Yes, sir. One is I found that there is sort of a small inconsistency in, in your statements. Sir. Like when Sir was asking that, you said that you like to go to rural areas, countryside, and you, you love to be there. At the same time, when I was asking, what about the status of social forestry in your area? Sir. So you are not able to tell much about it. Yes, this is inconsistent. And if you really go to countryside, you cannot fail but notice the activity of social forestry. Or you are going to countryside and you are not noticing the things, you are not observing things. Yes. Both ways it is not all right. I am confident that it is not possible not to observe. Sir. It is you are observing, you would have observed it. Only thing is you are not able to recapitulate yes. in yes. your mind and tell at the instant. So for this purpose, whatever kind of questions are being asked, you have a mock interview of yourself. Telling that if it is coming, then what can be your sort of a response to these questions? What are the dimensions you like to touch upon? Like Andhra Pradesh is reputed for activity of social forestry in, in their respective rural, rural areas. You know, yes. There is a large cultivation of uh, light wood in the uh, social yes, forestry. Sir. Eucalyptus also there, sir. There are many. But I don't there recall that at this of acacias. Yes, sir. We've done in the in, in, and Andhra Pradesh farmers are the farmers who are expert in optimizing return from their land, you know. Yes, so along with agriculture, they are always getting some sort of a input by way of social forestry. Floriculture, for example, it is famous. Yes, a lot of flowers are going all over India from uh, uh, so these are the things which you would not have missed it, you would have observed it, but you are not able to connect. Yes. So, and my and request is an overall nature. 
He is a lover of nature. You said you are a lover of nature. So when all these things are connected, it should be able to turn into a mosaic. It should look that you have told the truth. It should look that you are a lover of nature. It should look that you go to the countryside. It should look that you should you are observing the things and enriching. All these things should become a part of your personality. Number two, always sit straight. Throughout this interview, you have been sitting just bent on this. No. Whether you are in online interview or offline interview, be straight. Look straight into the eye of the questioner and answer them boldly. You will do very well. Wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you.